Let's have a look at Clarinda Singer here. She went down and then got back up quickly, but uh, when she could see that Lou Dobson was the recipient, she knew that uh, a strike was more likely than a fling. It was a very good piece of goalkeeping because it really did look like that, that Brooke Morrison was going to fling that ball, but it was the hit that came, so she had to get down quickly. Ricochet off the foot of Lou, uh, Lisa Carruthers sends Lou Dobson scurrying back. And the Australians clear, but only as far as the sideline. Donners. Back to Dieters. They mount another attack. Fandon Bulgard. Into the circle. And again, an opportunity for the Dutch and Donners. Well, she, a clean trap there, would have had uh, the Australians in all sorts of trouble. Absolutely. It wasn't a very effective clearance from Kristen Towers. So here's Mincho Donners. Just outside the circle, goes to Hanukkah Schmabers, looking for a penalty corner, doesn't get it. Netherlands fanned in Bogart there, but they've been pushing her forward, looking for the overlap. She's got such a beautiful hit, so they're expecting her to push forward and then smash the ball through the circle for her strikers. So the key form guard. An opportunity, and that one just going wide. Clover Maitland seemed to have that covered, took it fairly casually. Terrific ball across the face of the circle and a quick effort to get a deflection on that. Clover no joke when it was. Clover Maitland had it covered. Played her 100th game earlier in this tournament, as did Gillian Vanden Borgard, as did Louise Dobson, so three Centurions celebrating milestone during this tournament. Michelle Hawks combining with Julie Towers, youth experience and wisdom combining. Good hassling from Julie Towers. This is Hanukkah Schmabers now. Does well. Guard. You know, the 
free hit where the ball is taken where the ball is played I should say Rochelle Hawks now for the Australians a couple of minutes remaining I'd love to get another goal before half time that's not happy with that decision
joined the 200 Club Short, Lisa Carruthers and uh, Julian Haslam. What a marvellous achievement that will be. Pity it doesn't come in this tournament.
try and score again. They win by a goal. Then it will be Australia v Germany. So another goal to uh, the Netherlands would be very handy. Langham winning a free hit. Powerful Tasmanian. Scored two goals in this tournament. Both of those from penalty corners. Schmabers quickly onto the sister. Hanneke Schmabers into the circle. And again, Bianca Langham, who has had a couple of excellent traps in the last few minutes. She certainly has. And her teammates aren't helping her at the moment. They keep giving the ball back. Putting more and more pressure on the defence. Bianca's been called to make an enormous number of saves. Nikki Boy is winning a free hit for her team. Just outside the circle. Tomello. Well done, and loud crack as Hanneke Schmabers lines up with the shot. Shelley Andrews now on the attack for Australia. Ball to Trina Powell, just not quite finding the mark, but a good run by Shelley Andrews. It was the right decision, she just didn't quite get onto the path. the Dutch attackers and sometimes that's not easy. Strikers like to receive and turn very sharply, something the Netherlands are very good at. Defensively Australia has done quite well. Brilliant ball from Lisa Carruthers to her sister Katrina Powell. The three hit just outside the circle. I mentioned earlier there were two sets of sisters. I forgot about Lisa Carruthers and her sister Katrina Powell. Of course Lisa married to Stuart Carruthers. Opportunity for the Australians. Katrina Powell turned quickly. Her first shot rebounded. The second wasn't able to get away. Gee, Katrina Powell's very dangerous in that situation. I saw her score a goal at the Olympic Games in similar fashion. Just turned. She normally does a little, little reverse stick chip up over the goalkeeper, but didn't have quite as much time as she probably needed. Dyson with a mistake. Katrina Powell is there. Snyder's did well to get back. From the sideline for the Australians. Three and a half minutes on the clock. The Dutch under immense pressure. Ball just going astray. Not able to find Rochelle Hawks. Don as it is. Who has so much pace. And Haslam with the stick that did uh, exceptionally well. Just three minutes remaining now. The Dutch hanging on as best they can. I don't think the Dutch will be in a hurry to go forward. Some heavy work between Donners and Claire Mitchell Tavener. Quickly taken by Haslam. Well, Australians want to win this. It's not important to them in terms of points but they play a terrific attacking style of play. Always want to win it. Tremendous to see, not happy with the draw. And of course, if the uh, result stays the same, they'll meet the Dutch in the final and uh, the Dutch team would be boosted by a draw here tonight. Here's Lisa Carruthers. Looking for a way forward. It's coming to Kristen Towers. Well done by Minky Schmabers. Still with Schmabers. Wins the free hit. Two minutes now remaining. The score is still level. Chewin. Restarts play for the Netherlands. You can see Minchie Donner's just happy to run down the clock. Petri. So 16 yard hit for Australia. Minute 30 now. Dobson. Brilliant ball for Powell. A typical one to control. Louise Dobson. 
stick of Claire Mitchell Tavener. Back into Hawks. Just overrunning the ball, Rochelle Hawks. Lisa Powell goes forward again for Australia. Inside the final minute now. Danger for the Netherlands, Shelley Andrews. Katrina Powell in the circle. Goes to Powell now and just a Dutch stick. Hawks not able to trap that one. Karen Smith working hard. Allison Peake winning a free hit just outside the circle. 29 seconds remaining. Well, it comes down to this for the Dutch. The tournament on the line. Opportunity for the Aussies. And a big clearance, taking no chances. Tom Van Tech pacing up and down the sideline, the Dutch coach. Ten seconds on the clock. Final opportunity for Australia. Fox not able to get control. Vanden Borgard clears. And that will be all. It's a draw. And the Netherlands against the world champions Australia and they will go into the final now as Rochelle Hawkes just has a discussion. It's all over Rochelle. <laughs> Not happy about it though Rochelle Hawkes and she doesn't often say a lot so I think it's just a tackling technique. It's just a little bit, little bit, um, I don't know, troublesome to her obviously. But what a tremendous performance from the Netherlands. I, I think they played so well tonight. They really did harass the Australian side. Australia perhaps didn't start like they would have liked, but the Netherlands just too good early on. Juliet Haslam there for the Australians, and the Dutch celebrate. Not often they tie the world champions in a major tournament. They did so tonight when they needed it most. And the Australians who were confirmed in Saturday's final and they will now be joined by the Netherlands in the playoff for one and two. Germany, they will play Argentina for the bronze medal and New Zealand and Korea will play off for fifth and sixth. Well, something to think about for the Australians. They rested Renita Garrard and also Nikki Mott. So. Marvers. Well, Juliet Haslam did well then. She Risk life and limb to tackle uh, Mickey Schmarvis just as she looks set to go with the reverse shot. Rachel Imerson came out right almost to the top of the circle. She was ready for the save and then came out and put some pressure on her. Well, it's tight hockey here at the State Hockey Centre in Brisbane. Champions Trophy. Plenty at stake. Bianca Langham. Karen Smith coming off for Alison Peake. Juliet Haslam goes to Alison Annan. Peake can get into the action now, but just retreats from Julie Dieters. Here's Vanden Borgard. Petri coming on for the Netherlands. Fleur van der Kuyf going off. So plenty of changes. Coach is just wanting to have fresh legs. There's been plenty of running here tonight. Langham goes inside to Lisa Carruthers. On to the youngster, Brooke Morrison. <coughs> Boys did well, dispossessed Claire Mitchell Tavener. Deflection to the sideline. Free hit to the Netherlands just outside their attacking circle. To be taken by Donners. Plenty of Australians back. Once again, the Netherlands putting the Australian side under plenty of pressure. I don't know how many times they've run the ball into Minka Boys on the right half. Got to try and do something different. Can't afford to keep giving away possession. Lisa Carruthers again doing well for the Australians. Hawks 
puts the body in first. Marjorie Chewin and Rick Charles were screaming his disapproval. There he is. Completely dissatisfied with that call from Lynn Farrell. Here's Chewin into the circle. Fight for the ball between Petri and also Bianca Langham. Langham wins out. And Shelley Andrews' pass just goes a little long for Rochelle Hawks. Good pressure from Shelley Andrews. Nearly caused an error. Bunga to DeMello. Well, the defensive play from both teams has been superb here. Hassling, as we see here from Annan. Look at this. I can't agree with that one either. Very good piece of play by Alison Annan. Rick Charlesworth just having the opportunity <laughs> to have a chat to Renee Chatter. She's just in front of the Aussie team bench and Charlesworth not missing a beat. Annan now going forward. Combines with Shelley Andrews and opportunity for the Australians with the cross from Andrews it's just a very tight game Andrews did the right thing looking for Julie Towers leading across into the corner but just a little bit misdirected it's pretty tough out there at the moment there isn't a lot of space to move Australians have done well to take the most of their opportunities there haven't been a lot of them and a brilliant ball for Alison Annan and Julie Towers just put out of business completely and the crowd on that occasion roaring their disapproval. Pinky boys, I think it is. Have a look here. It is boys. Well, they've just ruled that exactly the same way down the other end, and I totally agree. I think that was just certainly a body right in the face of Julie Towers, and just can't push players around, supposedly. Vinci Donners now in a battle with Lisa Carruthers. Donners into the circle, has the opportunity to shoot. Iverson. Off the pads of the Aussie keeper. Rachel Imerson, look at that. Ever vigilant. No problems for Switch the young Australian keeper. That's what you want to see from a goalkeeper, Rachel Imerson, right up on his toes, ready for the ball to go in either direction. Well, only the two goals so far, but uh, plenty of pressure and excitement in this final pool match. We've mentioned a replay of the World Cup final from Utrecht last year and there was plenty of excitement in that game too and these two opponents living up to their one and two ranking in the world. Here's Gillian Vanden Borgard. Goes to Hanneke Schmabers. Dutch again looking to attack. So much to play for for the Netherlands. They've come to expect success. They need a draw at the lead here to be in the final. As we look at Karen Smith and Krista Towers on the sideline. Twelve and a half minutes, minutes remain on the clock. Here's Baumgart. He's looking for DeMello, but uh, Louise Dobson all over DeMello that time. Hawks goes down, but uh, Chatters had already blown a free hit Netherlands way. Hanneke Schmabers, too strong for Mincho Donners. Bianca Langham, strong ball. Claire Mitchell Tavener, not able to uh, receive that one. Seeing the Netherlands just hold off the Australian side in their defensive area. Good work by Katrina Powell. The Netherlands is perhaps a little bit more tentative, don't want to come forward quite as much. All they've got to do is hold on to this draw. I was about to ask that exact question. At what stage did the Dutch decide that they would completely defend and not attack and uh, be satisfied with the draw? Probably a little early for that at the moment. Well, I'm not so sure. I just on that last play, they tended to be holding off, as I mentioned, and I think they're starting perhaps to get a little bit nervous. 
And boys just missing, but Van and Borgard, ice cool in defence. She went down, but was able to get the ball out. And it was brilliant play. Schmarbers now. On to DeMello. And a nice ball to Marjay Chewin, who gets past Dobson. Doesn't get past Langer. Bianca Langer, the Tasmanian. She's had a good match so far. Deflection from Dobson. Long corner for the Netherlands. Coming up to 10 minutes remaining. One all the score. Here's Minky Schmarbers. Past two Australians. Just running into the corner. Petri with the shot. And nearly got past Rachel Imerson. She did brilliantly. She certainly did. I don't even know how she saw that. There was some pace on that. That's brilliant goalkeeping from Rachel Imerson. Dutch attack again. And DeMello, as she has done on a number of occasions, and they win a penalty corner. Here's the shot from Petri, and just off the right glove, I feel, from Rachel Imerson, a magnificent effort. She didn't have much time to react at all. Tremendous save. So, penalty corner for the Netherlands. This is always dangerous. And in Bogart, of course, fantastic striker of the ball. It's Van den Borgard. Charged down by the Australians. Another attempt from Van den Borgard. Cleared by Imerson, who butters up again with that shot from Fleur van der Kuyk. That's very good defence from the Australian side. Rachel Imerson's on fire. I don't know what she's been eating, but she's on fire. Well, she sat on the uh, bench during the first half. She came on after half-time, and her saves tonight, well, really, it's been the difference between the two sides. Absolutely. She's been quite outstanding. It's fantastic to see from such a young goalkeeper. Just 20 years of age. Playing her 45th match for Australia, and it's been one of her best. So the Dutch, just as we said that they were content to defend, they go on an attacking spree. DeMello, lovely touch into Petri, and a nice sliding tackle from Bianca Langham. Well, what an exciting match it's been. What do the last eight and a half minutes have in store for us? The Dutch will hope that uh, it's not much. They'll be happy to finish the game on this scoreline. Katrina Powell battling with Edith Baumgart. Dobson just looking for an Aussie stick, doesn't get it. Well, she did get it, <laughs> but not what she wanted. What a clean trap that time by Karen Smith. Here's Baumgart back to Dieters. Bubbles off the foot, play on. Dieters has played very well for the Netherlands. They're solid players. Alison Annan charged up to put pressure on Vanden Borgard. Got a stick on it, but the deflection heading for the sideline. She's got a fan club here with her too, I think. Alison Annan has fans wherever she plays, right around the world. Very popular. Here she is again, Alison Annan. Nice ball. Karen Smith. We go back inside to Katrina Powell. Still with Karen Smith. Well Penalty done. corner, well done. The Queenslander. It's a lovely bit of skill from Karen Smith. Tremendous ball from Alison Annan though. Just created some space for herself, turned and smashed it very effectively across the circle. Landon Bogart just knocking it over the back line for a penalty corner. What can the Aussies do? So Julie Towers it will be to push in. Langham and Alison Annan are there. It's Langham with the strike into the pit into the uh, Pads of Singer and Renee Chattis had called a 16-yard hit before the ball was slammed in. And immediately they go on the attack. Chewin into the circle. And obstruction called. Gee, you can feel the intensity here. The crowd, the players, the coaches. Everyone heavily involved in this match. as the World Cup 
final that we saw in May early this year, or last year I should say. Good save, pretty solid save, didn't have a lot to do there, Singer. Towers now, brilliantly done by Katrina Powell and Karen Smith. Karen Smith hasn't scored a huge number of goals in her career, just the six, and uh, had the opportunity that time, but not able to convert, which is not surprising. Here's Petrie. Has Louise Dobson with her, and chopping the call. And the Australians can run the ball out of their defence. Coming up to five minutes now remaining in this match score still one all desperation from the Dutch Chewin lifted ball to DeMello and then back to Dieters it was well done Here's Mickey Schmarbers needs something from her replacing the captain Carol Tarter they've done well the Dutch without their general Australia's marking from this side, trying to get in front of the Dutch attackers, and sometimes that's not easy. Strikers like to receive and turn very sharply, something the Netherlands are very good at. So defensively, Australia has done quite well. Brilliant ball from Lisa Carruthers to her sister, Katrina Powell. And a free hit just outside the circle. I mentioned earlier there were two sets of sisters. I forgot about Lisa Carruthers and her sister, Katrina Powell, of course. Lisa married to Stuart Carruthers. He's a guy. For the Australians, Katrina Powell turned quickly. Her first shot rebounded, the second wasn't able to get away. Gee, Katrina Powell's very dangerous in that situation. I saw her score a goal at the Olympic Games in similar fashion, just turned. She normally does a little, little reverse stick chip up over the goalkeeper, but didn't have quite as much time as she probably needed. Dice is with a mistake. Katrina Powell is there. Dieters did well to get back. From the sideline for the Australians. Three and a half minutes on the clock. The Dutch under immense pressure. Ball just going astray. Not able to find Rochelle Hawks. And Donners it is. Who has so much pace. And Haslam with the stick that did uh, exceptionally well. So just three minutes remaining now. The Dutch hanging on as best they can. I don't think the Dutch will be in a hurry to go forward. Some heavy work between Donners and Claire Mitchell Tavener. Quickly taken by Haslam. Well, the Australians want to win this. It's not important to them in terms of points but they play a terrific attacking style of play. Always want to win. It's tremendous to see. Not happy with the draw. Of course, if the uh, result stays the same, they'll meet the Dutch in the final, and uh, the Dutch team would be boosted by a draw here tonight. Here's Lisa Carruthers. Looking for a way forward. It's coming to Kristen Towers. Well done by Minky Schmarbers. Still with Schmarbers. Wins the free hit. Two minutes now remaining. The score is still level. Chewin. Restarts play for the Netherlands. And you can see Minchi Donner's just happy to run down the clock. of Karen Petrie. So 16 yard hit for Australia. Minute 30 now. Dobson. Brilliant ball for Powell. Difficult one to control. Louise Dobson finds the stick of Claire Mitchell-Tavener. Back into Hawks. 
Just over running the ball, Rochelle Hawks. Lisa Powell goes forward again for Australia. Inside the final minute now. Danger for the Netherlands, Shelley Andrews. Katrina Powell in the circle. Goes to Powell now, and just a Dutch stick. Hawks not able to trap that one. Karen Smith working hard. Allison Peake winning a free hit just outside the circle. 29 seconds remaining. And it comes down to this for the Dutch. The tournament on the line. Opportunity for the Aussies. And a big clearance, taking no chances. Tom Van Tech pacing up and down the sideline, the Dutch coach. Ten seconds on the clock. Final opportunity for Australia. Hawks not able to get control. Vanden Borgard clears. And that will be all. It's a draw. And the Netherlands again. That's right, we, everyone's a leader in our team at the moment, so uh, hopefully in final everyone can stand up and be a leader. And indeed, that was, that was a terrific game of hockey. You obviously were expecting them to come out that hard. They had a lot more to play for. Well, they did. I mean, they had to draw a win to get into the final. I mean, we always want to win, but they played very hard, very tough, and, um, you know, looking forward to a close encounter in the final. I'm sure you're going to get one. Uh, what will you change between now and Saturday? Well... I, I think that we would like to win more contests. I think that they probably won more of the 50-50s today. And I think that uh, we need to probably get a bit stronger on the ball and basically work as hard as we can and really run out the 70 minutes. All right, mate. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks very much. Thanks, Ray. Richelle Hawks, one of the Australian senior players, and uh, Tom Van Tech, the Dutch coach. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. yeah, we are happy, of course, with the result because to play a draw against uh, strong Australians is a very good result. I really think we deserved it. And I think we deserve to play the final as well, So, but we are very happy with it. But uh, we have lost a lot of matches in a row against the Australians. And I think tonight we played one of our best games of the last uh, 12 months. And uh, considering you're missing your captain as well, Carol uh, Tata? Yeah, she had a uh, little accident in a match uh, and she cannot play anymore here. It's not that bad, but she has to, to, to lie down on bed and uh, she will not be in the finals. No, uh, no joke or no, no game, she, she cannot play anymore. But still, we have a very good side on the field in this moment. That's very disappointing for Carol. In fact, she wasn't here tonight? No, she wasn't here tonight. We will call her immediately now in the hotel, because <laughs> she will be very happy for us. And uh, she will recover, come back in the European Cup in August. But on this moment, uh, we also have some very good young players who played very well this evening. And, uh, but of course, Australians still have a very, very good side. They do indeed. So do you. Congratulations on tonight and uh, good luck on Saturday. Yeah, we'll be, uh, I hope, as a close game as today, because I think for the public from both sides, it was a fantastic uh, match of hockey. Good evening, Tom. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the trouble. Thank you. Tom Van Tech, the coach of the Netherlands, who now go through to the final on Saturday to meet Australia. A replay of that game. Well, you'd have to be looking forward to that. The chances are we'll be looking at extra time and maybe even penalty strikes. But we'll wait and see. We have three full games coming up tomorrow, the last of the men's round-robin competition, and that'll decide the men's finalists as well. But that's it for today. A very exciting day of hockey at the Champions Trophy at the Queensland State Hockey Centre. Join us again tomorrow.